when you got whiting like like that on the flats why wouldn't you Just another good whiting. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Adrift Fishing video. You guys wanna see some epic top water whiting action? Stick around, this is gonna be cool. Let's do it. First cast. Come on, sugar pen. Work your magic. You find too, when it's windy like this, the fish generally bite a lot better. Makes it a bit harder for you to cast and work your lure, but definitely helps you get some fish on. And I'm hoping out here too, probably doesn't get too much pressure, it's pretty far flung where I am at the moment as we well. had a swipe. Yeah, hopefully there's a few more fish around, maybe even one of those uh, elusive blue spot flathead. Oh, they just work so well, these sugar pen. Cast well work well. I'm just doing work, walk the dog sort of retrieve at the moment. That's been working pretty well in the last couple of times I've used this lure. They're on it. Oh yes! Yes, we're on. There we go, new location, same old retrieve, same old lure, and we're hooked up. Real aggressive bite. Ah, oh, he's a reasonable size whitey. Not too bad at all. Lovely. Not as big as the other spot, but uh, not complaining either. Yellowfin whiting on the flats. I just love it because it's just shallow water. You're walking along. So simple. All you need is a few lures, a rod and you're away laughing. It's one of the styles of fishing that I really enjoy. Don't get me wrong, I love my kingfish and I love my snapper. South Australia is generally a pretty difficult fishery at, at the best of times. So when you find small areas that you can work, fish are biting, even if they're only little fish like this, you know, a top water bite's a top water bite. And that's what keeps me casting all day. Speaking of which, let's put a few more casts out there and get a few more. Let's do it. Alrighty. This spot's got whiting too. Now the tide's actually coming in now, really slowly. Today was a dodge tide, so it will be a very slow tide, but it's nice to see a few fish coming in. So I reckon we'll work around here and a couple of other spots out there and see what we can find. A couple of aggressive whiting like that, they won't be complaining. Yeah, trouble is when you have big sand flats like this, they could really be anywhere. As that's just proved, that's probably taken about 10, 15 casts maybe. And I finally found one. Why does that feel like a salmon? I don't know. It's just another good whiting. And I've got no net. And I've got no net. That's a solid whiting, that one. Oh, this is great fun. This is awesome. Honestly, one of the most favorite styles of fishing I have. It is such a hard fighting fish on the flats, on lures. All you need is a rod, a couple of lures, and you're away. It's just such a purest form of fishing. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. And that's it, when you got whiting like, like that fella on the flats, why wouldn't you? Now, if you're liking the video so far, guys, don't forget, like and subscribe, it really does help the analytics on the channel. And uh, yeah, encourages me to make some more videos like this one, so stick around. This spot's starting to look good. And again, incoming tide's the key. 
tide hasn't moved for six hours today and it's just starting to move now. And with that, widening like that. That was a good smash. Oh, they're on it. They're on it. There we go. Oh, missed them. Let's see if there's any more in that school. That was cool. Two hits straight away. I'll just put that drag up a little bit. Try to get another one while they're still around. So here's the thing, here's the reason why I find topwater whiting such an interesting prospect. It's because we have expansive flats around and in a lot of cases they are loaded at certain times with yellowfin whiting. You just gotta know when and where to look. Now generally I've always looked on the incoming tide, although today has been a dodge tide all day and I've been catching them all through the day, but that's probably an exception. In most cases incoming tide, they push up with the tide and using appropriate lures like this slippery dog. I have also been using a sugar pen and that's been working really well. And just slowly walking the dog that's generally the retrieve that I start off with. But sometimes you get them, they follow it, they follow it, and they just don't commit. And then I tend to speed it up and just do the wiggle, you know, st steady wind and wiggle the rod tip like this. And when they're being fussy, that can convert them. But what you'll find is once you've found a school and you've put a couple of casts over, caught a fish or spooked a few fish, generally they'll start to ignore that lure. Change it over, put another one out, back over the school, and you'll find of the if they settle down a little bit that you'll get a strike if not move on try find them again bang a lure out and that works a treat as well it's just absolutely crystal clear look at it it's beautiful yeah whiting 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 now you'll see i'm really focusing on the weed edges I'm landing this right on the edge one hoping a flathead's going to be sitting on the edge but secondly, you generally find these uh, whiting, they'll follow that weed edge kind of like a highway. Well, that was a cool little evening session. Um, only landed the two, however I dropped probably four or five and missed several, so yeah, not a bad little top water session. Hopefully that wind's not messing with my mic, but anyway, that's my dinner sorted, so back to camp, cook those bad boys up, and uh, tomorrow's a whole nother day. So change of plan, we're actually going to cruise along here and look for yellowfin and whiting. Um, seems to be a few around, they are semi-solitary at the moment, but with the elevated platform on the boat I can see really well, and we're going to see if we can't um, yeah, get a few on top water, why not? Alright, whiting it is. Just working some weed edges, you never know. Such a sweet looking beach though, so good. Just slowly taking along on the electric keeping an eye open for any yellowfin whiting. And yeah, just sort of working these edges. Oh, there goes a little flatty. Not sort of my size, but that's all right. It might just be a little bit too calm for the whiting, but we'll see. I'll have a cruise along here and see if I can spot a couple. There's a whiting. It might be real spooky with this water being like this. Oh, he's following it, he's coming right to the boat, but real lazy, just one whiting. Oh, yep, yeah. oh, I missed it. <laughs> he's digging. There he is. It's actually quite cool to watch him like this. This one's digging in the sand. I'm coming right across his nose now. He looked at it and turned off. There's two of them. There's two of them. All right, where are they going? 
big skull, big skull. Right there, I'm gonna put one across the nose. Not interested, maybe they saw me. Put one back down there and I'll go walk the dog. Yep, 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 there we go. There we go. That was textbook. How good was that? Yes. Oh, there's solid whiting there. They're really solid whiting. Check this one out. How awesome is that? So can you do it from the boat? Yes, you can. Then look at Look at the size of him. 37. Decent whiting. Now you don't often get conditions like this. Now this is just mirror calm. This bay is just so sheltered. Check it out. And that is making catching yellowfin whiting on the flats both easy to find them, but challenging to catch as well. Um, I've had a couple of bust ups which I've missed. I uh, landed one, but yeah, I'll keep on pushing and see what we can find. Let's get the 95 sugar pen going, see if they want that. There we go, there's a couple. Sucks when you grab the only piece of weed. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of big slob whiting right there. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. See you later.